Many countries are entering the BRICS, countries in South and Central America, Egypto, and others. The latest comes from Iraniana and Saudi Arabia. They recently restored diplomatic relations with the help of Chania. Iraqa has also helped set up meetings between the two countries. They signed a $29.6 billion investment deal to affirm this. Iraniana and Saudi Arabia severed ties seven years ago after protesters killed a cleric. That is the official story anyway. Some months ago, I sent an email out to some friends telling people that a couple of years ago, a treaty was signed by over a hundred countries to abandon the dollar in one day. This information has been available in alternative circles for a while. It won't be in your favorite corporate media network. We can see this being set up right now. When this happens, it will be one more element to push the economy over the edge. By design, of course to navigate people into the digital prison. What does Chinia get? They will secure a contract to build a new $500 billion city called Neom. Many people are getting into the business of building these new age cities. Elon Musk wants to build one in Texas. The T-Man wants to build freedom cities now. Look at the Saudi Arabia city project called New Maraba. Other 15-minute cities in Moscow, Russia, and Cleveland, Ohio as well. What are they all getting ready for? I'll save that for another video. Right now, I want to focus on economics, though. Chania now tops the list of oil buyers from Saudi Arabia. In the future, they will be paying in yuan instead of dollars. During the Obama years, when I was working in the oil industry, there were meetings about the GHS, or Global Harmonized System. This was in specific relation to Chania. The idea was that all labeling of products and communication were compatible with Chania. Back then, that didn't sit well with me. Today, however, we see our oil going to Chania. Also, back in 2006, I came across the subject of the Sakhalin Oil Project. By the Sakhalin Islands north of Japan, Rushka had erected the two largest oil rigs in the world at the time. The oil from these rigs would be a part of a closed market between Rushka, Chania, and other Asian countries. What was odd was the project was initially managed by the U.S. company Shell. Later management of the project was turned over to Exxon. Who was a top exec at the time for Exxon? Rex Tillerson. He would later become the first Secretary of State under the T-Man. Rex is a globalist. Now we can see one more example of how all sides work together. Now for a different economic subject. Recently, there were a couple bank closures by Silvergate and Silicon Valley Bank. Here's the part of the story that isn't widely told. A Mr. Peter Thiel was involved. He is one of these venture capitalists that told others to take their money out. I believe this was done deliberately. This will cause a chain reaction and cause further collapse of the financial system. One of the goals is, after all, to coerce people into the digital currencies. Peter Thiel is a villain. He is also good buddies with Senator Ted Cruz. Another buddy of his is Blake Masters, who ran for senator in Arizona. He was a plant. He knew he wasn't supposed to win. That's not in the script. He then went on Fox News crying about why he lost, but it's all theater for the masses. Mr. Masters was playing a role. And the people of Arizona bought into the stage show, getting manipulated emotionally. Beware, fear, anger, panic. In my Digital Prison Part 1 video, I included a clip of Mr. Thiel from 2012 where he states war is needed to help accelerate innovation. As we can see now, a world conflict is rising, although I will say the world conflict began in 2020. Still don't think this has been planned out a long time ago? I'll end with this. Once again, people think The Simpsons predicts things. This is false. The creators know the satanic agenda. They know the plan. None may buy or sell without proof of injection. So here's the clip someone found, and kudos to them. Here's the clip. 
<laughs> what do you mean the bank is out of money? Insolvent? You only have enough cash for the next three customers! Hey, what the hey, 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 Just a second here. No, no, I, I don't have your money here. It's in Bill's house and, and, and Fred's house. Hey, what the hell are you doing with my money in your house, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? The bank run in the cartoon is the same thing that happened in real life just recently. How can that be? That's weird. Hope this helps everyone.